There's a strong argument to say that Michaela Schifrin is the most dominant athlete in any sport on the planet right now. In the 2018-19 season, Schifrin lined up in 26 World Cup races and won 17 of them, quite an extraordinary statistic in a sport split by milliseconds and governed by weather and light, not to mention racing against 40 plus other elite level competitors. Welcome to the Rich Rabbit. And today, we'll be talking about the life journey of American Alpine ski racer, Michaela Schifrin. But first things first, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do consider doing it. And don't forget to click the bell icon. Born in Whale, Colorado, Michaela started learning to ski at the age of two. Her parents, Eileen and Jeff Schifrin, have supported her all that time. As a junior, Michaela raced much less than other kids her age. They went to races and had a couple of runs, maybe minutes of actual skiing time. While the other young skiers were racing, Michaela was training at Berg Mountain Academy in Vermont to master her sport. Schifrin's meteoric rise up the ranks in alpine racing began as soon as she was old enough to compete in FIS races. On December 2010, while meeting the minimum age requirement of 15, Schifrin won a Nor-Am Cup Super Combined race held at Panorama, British Columbia. It was only the 8th FIS level race she'd ever competed in. She followed it up by taking a second, third and first place finish in her next three Nor-Am races, a Super G, a Giant Slalom and Slalom. A couple of weeks later, she won a pair of Nor-Am slalom races held at Sunday River, Maine. Schifrin made her World Cup debut on March 11, 2011 in a giant slalom at Spindla Ruv Mien in the Czech Republic. In early April, just a few weeks after her 16th birthday, she won the slalom title at the US National Championships at Winter Park, Colorado and became the youngest American skier ever to claim a national alpine crown. On December 29, 2011, Schifrin made her first World Cup podium at Slalom in Lyons, Austria. She started 40th and lost her left shin guard halfway down, but finished in 12th place in the first run. Schifrin then posted the fastest time in the second run to secure a third place finish. The American won her first World Cup race in December 2012, at the age of 17, a night slalom in Åre, Sweden. She became the second youngest American ever to win an Alpine World Cup event. Schifrin's second win came two weeks later at a night slalom at Zagreb, Croatia, and a third 11 days later at another night slalom in Flachau, Austria. In February, all eyes were on Sochi where the 2014 Winter Olympic Games were held. Michaela placed fifth in her Olympic debut, a rainy giant slalom in Rosa Chateau. She had also cast an eye on the medals in giant slalom, being off the podium by only 0.23 seconds. On February 21, 2014, she won the Olympic slalom after an unbelievable recovery in the second run. She became the youngest ever Olympic gold medalist in slalom. It was skiing history and the emotional highlight of the season. With the approaching end of the season and after the Olympic highlight, Michaela won another slalom held in Orre, Sweden. Only one race was left, she locked up the World Cup slalom title by increasing her lead over 100 points. It was her day again at the World Cup Finals in Linzerheide, Switzerland. Michaela won the last slalom by over 1.5 seconds, her fifth win of the year. On October 25, the 2014-15 World Cup season started with a bang at Zuilden. Michaela won her first giant slalom tied with the Austrian Anna Fanninger in front of 30,000 ski racing fans. In January, Michaela won the World Cup Slalom at Zagreb by a massive margin of 1.68 seconds. The first race of the Ski World Champs was the team event. Michaela and Team USA finished fifth. 
Michaela won her second World Champs gold medal by 0.34 seconds in front of her hometown. With a World Champs gold medal in her bag, Michaela was on fire at the end of the season 2014-15. She gained her World Cup wins number 13 and 14 at Maribor and Orre. At Orre, she met a very special fan. Emma, a young girl from Sweden, was in the Finnish area again. Michaela had met her when she won her first World Cup race at Orre in December 2012. Emma fought against leukemia and inspired Michaela a lot. This year, they were both up on the podium together. Going into the World Cup Finals at Meribel, Michaela had a 90-point lead in slalom. Second place was Frida Hansdotter. It was a big fight till the end. Hansdotter placed second and Michaela secured her third crystal globe in a row at age 20 with another win. This has never been done before. Michaela set herself high goals when going into the World Cup season 2016 to 2017, including the Ski World Championships 2017 at St. Moritz, Switzerland, and she should become the best ski racer in the world in 1617. She started the season with a second place finish at the traditional Zoilden Giant Slalom World Cup opener. It was followed by two dominant slalom wins at Levi and Killington. A pretty strong start into the new year. In December 2017, Michaela made her World Cup debut in Downhill at Lake Louise, Canada and impressed with 13th and 18th place finishes. Michaela's goal for 2017-18 was set by trying to defend the overall title. She started the season with a fifth place in Zoilden, the first win of 2017-18, followed at her home slalom in Killington. She added more and more speed events to her schedule, won the Lake Louise downhill, followed by more wins at Courchevel, Lyons and Oslo. Going into her second Winter Olympic Games, the strong wins at Pyeongchang challenged the races. The events were postponed multiple times. The Olympics was surely the most emotional time of the season. Michaela won Olympic gold in giant slalom and silver in alpine combined. Afterwards, Michaela was sure the fourth place in slalom was one of her most important moments because she was able to learn something for the future. Michaela won two of the three races after the Olympics. The season was almost over. She scored a third and first place finish at Aufschwang, Germany. Adding another slalom win at the World Cup Finals in Orre, Sweden, she managed to win the slalom globe for the fifth time and defend her overall title at age 23. The next season should become one of the best seasons the alpine skiing community had ever seen. Michaela started the year with a third place finish at Zoilden, followed by a slalom win at Levi. At her home races in Killington, USA, she grabbed a fourth and first place in giant slalom and slalom. The speed races at Lake Louise were next. Michaela was in perfect shape to break some records of the FIS Alpine Tour. She managed to win the Lake Louise Super G becoming the first athlete to win in all six World Cup events. Michaela won the next four races at St. Moritz and Courcheval. It was a tough battle with Petra Walhova from Slovakia. But she could add six more wins to her list sensationally before taking a break, skipping some speed races and heading into the 2019 World Ski Championships held at Ore, Sweden. In six races after the World Champs, Michaela ended up being on the podium five times within four wins. In 2018-19, Michaela set the record for most World Cup wins in a single discipline, from 14 to an insane number of 17. She became the most successful slalom skier of all time by winning her 40th slalom and surprising her childhood idol, Madeleine Schild. 
The season 2019-20 should turn out as Michaela's most difficult season. She entered the new year with a strong result. Second place finish at the World Cup opener at Zoilden, followed by two wins in slalom at Levi and Killington. The next four events were speed races. She took more podiums at Lake Louise, St. Moritz and two 10th place finishes. Michaela skied out at the following combined race at Altenmarkt, followed by two third places at Flachau and Sestria. At Bansko, Bulgaria, she won two of the three speed races. She was leading most of the World Cup rankings as the years before in good shape and looking good to win a few Crystal Globes as she did in the past seasons. After the Bansko weekend, however, Michaela's life changed. Her dad, Jeff Schifrin, died in an accident at home at age 65. Michaela, her family and the skiing community were heartbroken about this tragic loss. Michaela skipped the next races to grieve at home. Going into her fifth ski world championships at age 25, Michaela wasn't sure what to expect. She managed to win unbelievable four medals in four races, her sixth World Champs gold and the 11th World Champs medal in total. What an unbelievable achievement in surely one of the most difficult seasons for her. In the last six World Cup races after the World Champs at Jasna, Orre and Lenzerheide, Michaela finished every race on the podium with one win in slalom. Although not attending the speed events this season, she finished the World Cup rankings fourth overall and second in slalom and giant slalom, nearly winning the slalom rankings again. After all that has happened, it is an absolutely remarkable season. And it's time that we end our video here. But we hope to come back and do another video on her as she has still a lot to offer. We hope that you liked our video and found it informative. Your support has been amazing and that is the sole reason why we make videos. Please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon. Your valuable suggestions are very important to us so do post them in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video.